What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the Gauntlet series for the Nor True Pros. Their next opponent is one of my top two, uh, or yeah, top two earbuds, I would say. It is the uh, Sennheiser Momentum 3s. This should be a really, really good one. Uh, if it's anything like the previous one with the bows, this should, we will have a good time. Let's get to it. All right, we are back in, and let's go ahead and jump into the price and specs. We'll start off with the uh, Sennheiser Momentum 3s. They come in at $249. Obviously, you can get these on Sennheiser's website, as well as Amazon. As always, I'll leave links in the description below if you want to take a look uh, and try both of these earbuds. All right, as far as Kodak, <clears throat> excuse me, not Kodak, but Bluetooth version first, Sennheiser Momentums. They are rocking Bluetooth 5.2. Now, as far as codec, they support AAC, SBC, APTX, and APTX adaptive. They do have uh, and a hybrid adaptive noise canceling system. And as far as battery life, on the lat on the earbuds, you get up to seven hours. When you add the case, you can get up to 28 hours of playback time. And that's obviously with volume and noise canceling that all have plays into it. As well, as far as the uh, quick charge, you get 10 minutes will get you an hour of playback time and the case uh, does have wireless charging. As far as water resistance, the earbuds themselves are rated at IPX4. So going to the gym or getting caught in the rain is no big issue. All right. As far as special features, they do now uh, have multi-point pairing and connecting. It, and of course, they do not have uh, the fast pair support, um, as far as I know, uh, with these earbuds. But other than that, these guys are uh, fantastic earbuds. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the Nora Trues. These guys, you come in at $329. And of course, you can get these on the Nora Sound website as well as Amazon. Uh, as far as Bluetooth version, they are rocking Bluetooth 5.3. As far as codec support, they support AAC, SBC, APTX, APTX Adaptive, and APTX loss, Lossless Audio. So these guys are not only well specced out as far as high end audio, high end codecs, but they also are future proof. All right. As far as noise canceling, they do have a hybrid active noise canceling system, adaptive, excuse me, uh, noise canceling system. And as far as battery life, the earbuds you'll get eight hours of playback time. Uh, on a single charge as far as with the case you can get up to 32 hours of playback time as far as quick charge you five minutes will get you an hour of playback time and the case does support wireless charging as far as water resistance the earbuds are also rated at ipx4 and as far as uh special features they do also have multi-point pairing and connecting as well as spacious spatial audio all right so both of these earbuds packed uh, with uh, with packed with specs. Let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out. We'll take a look at them. Whoops, that one got away from me. All right, as you can see, both are of the in ear style of earbud, but you can definitely tell the size difference. The uh, excuse me. The the Nora True Pros, <laughs> I was getting losing my num losing my words here. The Nora True Pros are huge compared to uh the Momentum Threes. Uh, I do like the uh the fact that the the Sennheiser went with the more uh squared off form factor as opposed to the more cylindrical ones from the original and uh momentum twos. Uh they took that this uh look off of the uh, CX and CX plus line before they brought it over to the uh, momentum line. So uh, I do like that. I like the fact that they are uh, a little bit more of a, a compact earbud, um, very sleek. Uh, I did, um, I got these and I always say, I always wanted the space gray ones, but they weren't available when I bought these. So, but I do like the uh, matte black uh, on uh, on the earbuds themselves. And of course you got that, that wing um, that you get an adjustable wing and of course adjustable ear tips. Uh, very comfortable earbud. Again, very light. One of my smaller ones 
uh, that packed quite a punch. All right, as we take a look at the uh, Nora Trues, again, very big earbud on the on the outside. Of course, you see this por portion here is what sits in your ear, right here around where you got the uh, wing tip here. Let me turn it around this way. You got the wing tip here, obviously, and of course, this whole section sits in the, on your in your ear well. This sits inside the ear canal, but then your touchpad surface and everything sits on the outside. All right, so it, it protrudes out a little bit, but you got all that surface area uh, here to tap on where you want to actuate any functions. You ain't got to worry about uh, missing that. And I do like the uh, matte black and gloss contrast that they have with these earbuds. Very elegant looking, uh, in my opinion. Uh, just a a nice uh, nice earbud and very light for their, for its size. A very light earbud. Uh, most people, when at first you look at it, first you think it'll be kind of heavy in the air, cause a lot of air, uh, air pain or fatigue. Uh, but no, not at all with these ones. All right. So let's go ahead and drop these in. I'm gonna pull up my phone. We'll take a look at some pictures. We're gonna start off with the momentum threes. All right, here we go with the momentum threes in the air. Let me go ahead and grab my pen. All right, so we can let me zoom in a little bit further so you guys can see. As you can see here, it sits right in the ear. Very uh, comfortable. It takes up the entire ear well, even with the uh, fin in the back. And it fits right into the ear well. Very comfortable. Uh, the twist and lock uh, locks in. You don't have to worry about them coming out. So you can uh, actually get a good workout in with these guys in. Uh, even when I sweat a little bit, they it it didn't it, they didn't slide at all so uh a very good earbud uh but again proper tip proper wings makes all the difference when you're dealing with noise canceling and uh audio all right so let's go ahead and jump in back we want to take a look at the nora true pros all right here we go as you can see here as i said that whole touchpad takes up the entire uh, outside of the ear, it filled the actual bottom portion fills up the entire ear, ear, ear well. And of course with that and the wing pushing in, securing it in place, you get a great seal, um, with the ear tips. Uh, again, great, the proper tip, proper wing makes all the difference. I'm gonna keep, I'm all, I'm gonna try to keep saying it. I know I've been, fall, I've been, uh, uh, neglecting that duty in my past few videos, but as you can see, again, another one of those that is very light despite the size. Uh, wear these for multiple hours, several hours, let's put it that way. No air, no type of air fatigue or anything like that. Just a, a great, great feel um, when you have them in. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get these paired up. We're going to start off with the uh, Momentum 3s and we're going to take a walk through their apps. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Momentum 3s paired up and it got the app up and running. So let's go ahead and quickly jump in. As you can see, first off, we're going to start with the three dashes up in the upper left. You'll tap on that. That'll take you out to where you can choose which device you want to use amongst all your uh, uh, Sennheiser uh, devices that you have uh, connect uh, paired to the uh, your device and using the app. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in. As you can see here, whoop, up in the upper left or upper right, you have your information here where you can go into your account information, go into your app settings, app intro, and everything other like there um, that you want to get into. All right, now, as you can see here, you got the picture of the earbuds, the name of the earbuds down here on the lower left here, you got where it's telling you Bluetooth connected. And here on the right, you got a picture of the earbuds and the case and their respective battery levels. All right, moving down, you find you have your multi-point, uh, your multi-point management or your connection management here. You tap on that, it'll give you your list of devices that you have paired to the earbuds and which two you are currently uh, connected to. Remember, now with the latest update, uh, you can be connected to two devices at once, uh, which is pretty awesome there. All right, then of course, moving down, you got your equalizer. You got a three band equalizer here that you can make adjustments with. You also have some presets that you can choose from. And of course, when you make your own here, uh, you can go ahead that way as well. All right. I have it set to 
I call this one test. So at the so do the sound test equalizer has no bearing on the sound during that. Of course, so you can do a uh, sound check. Basically, when you do this, you go through a, ser uh, th a series of three different tests, and based on your uh, choices, they create a sort of a sound profile for you. Um, I think I like it. I like the idea. So uh, it definitely gives you that enriched sound and everything. Uh, I just, I just like that. All right, moving down, you have your uh, transparency mode. You can have it turned off. You have it turned on with music. So when you uh, go into transparency mode, uh, the music will play in the background. And of course, you've got your strength level here. It tells exactly how much or how little uh, uh, no ambient sound you want coming through. And of course, you got it when you pause music as well. I usually have it on with music. So that way, even though I'm talking or I'm listening to something, I still have my audio playing. Uh, but right now we're going to turn that off because what we have here down below here is we have the uh, noise canceling feature. You could turn it off, obviously, and then it will switch off. You see how it changes now. And then, of course, you can do your wind resistance or anti wind. All right. And then you can turn it on. All right. So it's a very good active noise canceling. One of the best that I got. Uh, uh, by itself, it does a really, really good job of blocking out uh, noise. All right, as far as the sound zones, now this is a special feature where you could uh, go in. Let me go ahead and see. You can go in, you can create certain sound zones. I haven't had none created. That's why mine looks like this right now. But basically, you can base it on like if you're in this at school, library, home, office, and you can uh, create your own uh, specific uh presets as far as ambient noise, noise canceling and things like that, depending on where you are, uh, let me back out. You can go ahead and, uh, create those. And then with using your location, uh, uh, your location, uh, app within your phone, it can tell you exactly where you are. And then it will go in to those, uh, and go into that uh, specific, uh, sound setting for you. It's a very cool tool. I just don't have it set up on here. And of course, you got your touch controls. You can turn it off and on. You hit customize. You can do both left and right earbud. You got single, double, triple tap, and tap and hold to make adjustments. Um, and then, of course, you can also turn it off altogether. All right. And then you can see down here at the bottom, you got my device, which is what we are walk through here. We'll go ahead and jump over to settings. And here you can go into your firmware update. You can do high res audio. That's a new, uh, also a new feature uh, that came with the recent update where you can um, use modes for AT, you know, use audio 24 bit audio for APTX adaptive. Uh, so I always have that turned on. Uh, you got smart pause, which basically if you take your earbud out, it will pause your audio, plug it back in, they resume. Uh, you got auto accept calls. I turned that off because I don't want uh, my, the Airbus automatically pick up a phone call when it comes through. Uh, so you got your auto power off. I got mine set for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of so the Airbus sitting like that, they will uh, turn off just to save battery. And you got your tone and voice prompts. I have, of course, set to English. Then you got your codec. That's based on the, uh, when you play, it only shows up when you're playing audio. Um, and then of course you got your model name. You can do factory reset. And then of course you can do some feedback and move down here further. These are the tiles. Now the, you can turn these off and on. These are basically, these will affect what you have on your main screen here. So if you go in and say, for instance, you want, don't want uh, connection management up front and if you turn that off, you go to the front connection management is not there. You go back in, turn it back on. Let's go back to the front. Boom. There it is. All right. So you can do that to any of them. Let me back out of here. Ah, went too far, but you can use You can do any of them like that. And of course you can pick and choose which ones you don't want to see or which ones you do want to see. See, I'll take away the sound zones because I don't use that one. So I'll turn that one off, off the main one. Uh, you know what? I'll leave that on. I'll leave that on because it's a feature. And when I do these walkthroughs, all right. So, and then of course, that is, let's go ahead, before I even wrap this up, let's jump in here in the center. That'll take you into their store where you can go ahead and take a look, read up about any of the other Sennheiser devices and uh, 
uh, products that they might, they do have an offer. Um, and that was basically it for the, uh, walkthrough of the, uh, momentum app for the, uh, the Sennheiser app for the momentum two threes. I'm about to say twos. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out and we're going to have pair the Nora trues up, true pros up. <laughs> oh my God. What's wrong with me tonight? And we'll walk through their app. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Nora True Pros already paired up. We got the app up and running. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, at first, upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, the three dashes takes you in to uh, some more settings here. First of all, you got your account setting. Then, of course, you got your device settings. You got help, offers, and promotions. And then about Nora. And then, of course, you can log out here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and dive into the device settings. Here, you can go ahead and do, uh, configure your touch controls. You can do a single, double, single tap, tap and hold for both the left and right. You can go ahead and configure them as such. I do like that. All right, moving on down, you got your, mo your mode option. I have it set to custom because I turned spatial audio off for these testings. Uh, but you do got options of performance and low power. Okay, and then of course you got your multi-point function here. You can turn that off and on and it will tell you exactly which devices that you are paired to. Uh, just one thing I wish they did is I wish they had a theme where you could turn this dark. That's the only thing I, I wish, the only thing they, they have missing. I, okay, moving on. You've got uh, the music takeover. Now that is allows you to switch between uh, your two devices when you're playing audio. Say for instance, you're listening to something, I'm listening to something on my phone but then I want to listen to something on my tablet. I just go ahead and hit play on the tablet. The phone will pause and the tablet's audio will come through. It's, it's a, it's made, it's flawless when, uh, the way that switches. All right. Then of course you got enable, uh, spatial, uh, excuse me, social mode and ANC social mode is their version of transparency mode. Um, I always have that where you can turn that off and on. Uh, I have that turned on all the time. So that way you can use more, uh, Either or, then of course, like I said, spatial audio, I have that turned off for right now for the testing, but it gives you that full 360 uh, feel to um, feel to it, uh, to your audio and everything. Uh, it's, it's really good. And then of course you got the auto pause behavior. I have it set to one side, so I only have to take out one earbud in order to pause my audio. And of course, when you put it back in, it resumes. And moving down, you got enable UE video lip of uh, volume limiter. I turn that off because I want all my volume. And of course you got high gain, uh, mode, but that's for high gain mode is for when you're listening to uh, low audio, uh, anything like that. You can turn that on. It will boost, uh, the gain of that audio. Now you only want to do that when you're listening to low, uh, audio files, because if you do it with the, uh, with your regular ones or your great or your high end, uh, audio and you hit that gain, it, it could, it could do some damage. Um, so you want to be careful. Oh, I don't want to, I went ahead of myself. All right. So you got your voice prompt. I have mine set to medium, the volume rather is then of course you can change the voice, uh, change the voice language of the more other prompt. But I, of course we have it in English. Then down here below, you got your serial number, software number app version. And then of course you got software update up here where you can go ahead and uh, check for an update on it. Obviously mine's is up to date and everything like that. Okay. And now, I guess we can go ahead and close out of here. Now here on the main page, you have your, uh, up here at the top, you have your pro EQ. You tap in here, you can turn it off and on right now. I have it turned off, but you guess you can see there. I have my personal settings set up. And of course you can use the immersion mode for gives it more base or less base. I have it at, uh, zero, uh, right now because I want everything to be evened out on that one. Okay. And of course you can always reset it if you want to. All right. The one thing you don't have in here that I wish you did is where you can save that preset. So in case if you just happen to accidentally hit reset, you can always go back to that, uh, that pre that save preset that you had, but no, you have to go ahead and adjust it again. All right. Of course you got where you can add a profile. You got that here and you got it here. They're both the same thing. You can add a, a profile because when you first get the earbuds, you you pair them up to the, the to the app. The first thing you're gonna make you do is this profile is personalized hearing test, and then you do you come out with your 
your figure looking like this or however it is that's based on your hearing uh, profile. And that's how it is. But then of course, say for instance, you want, uh, you got a second person who wants, who uses the earbuds and they have their own profile. They can create their own through here or through here. All right. So then of course, then you can also share your device, share your profile with anyone. And of course up here in the upper right is your battery level for your earbuds. All right. Again, this is the name of the earbuds here. You got your profile selector here. And of course, this is your profile scheme on how it looks. Then down here, you have uh, your personalized setting. You have neutral. And of course, here on the on the ends, you've got uh, noise canceling and social mode. So if you got it here, you tap it here. As you can see, it turned into a dotted circle. That means it's in their social mode. Now tap on it again. It wants solid. That means it's noise canceling. And here on the right, grayed out is your spatial audio function. You tap on that to turn it on. Tap on it again to turn it off. And of course, once you're in neutral, you do not have access to the immersion mode. But if you go into personalize, that ver that uh, option becomes available to you. But we will leave it in neutral mode for now because we want to get the natural sound of the drivers during the, the sound test. And that basically is the walkthrough of the uh, Nora app for the Nora True Pros. What we want to do next is do a mic test, and then we will come back and do the infamous sound test and see how these dudes rock in, natural, in neutral mode and with my personal settings. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a crowded location. All right, we are back in. We got the air, the Momentum 3s already paired up and in the ears. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and dive into some music. But first off, we're going to go ahead and open up the second screen and we're going to pull up the app. And we want to make sure everything is turned off. All right, we're into the, uh, all right, we're in here. Okay, now let's go ahead and go into equalizer. As you can see, everything's turned off or at zeroed out. And let's go ahead, right now I have it in transparency mode. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Get us back into, noise canceling, all right? And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lead this up, or we'll lead this up on this side. We're gonna bring up music on this side, all right? Let's go ahead and jump into my selection here. All right, first up, make sure we're at our levels. We're at our levels. All right, we're gonna get one more. Yeah, we have one more. All right, we're gonna say it right there. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump in. First up, we're gonna go ahead and uh jump into Lenny Kravitz. Let's get it. Already got that good thump. Got that good sound stage, very nice. Nice, clean vocals. All right. Again, just to let y'all know, this is all with no EQ help. Okay. It's a great sound. You got, like, again, you got music coming from everywhere. All right, let me. You, you you got that wide open sound stage. So if there's an instrument on the right or on your left, it's there. You can hear right out only out of the left earbud. 
And then if you hit uh, an instrument on the right, it's only out of the right earbud, but then everything, it's just a great sound, good vocals on there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our next song. We're going to go and do, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to hit, uh, let's go ahead. So many tears by Tupac. Let's do it. Whoops. I hit the wrong one. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. You got that rumble, that boom, boom, boom. Yes. Again. It's a great sound, just a great sound. That nice, that sub bass rumble, ah, it fills you. Just, that's a really, really good sound. The vocals are clear. Very good sound. Now remember, this is without the EQ. This is without EQ help, so we're doing this uh, raw. And it just sounds really good. That sub bass, that oh, it just it just hits. All right, let's go ahead and jump into. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. We're going to Kenny G. Let's go. Again, got that warm sound, that keyboard, and you got the the drums. And that lead saxophone sounds so good. All right. Sounds so good. All right. So it, it sounds so, so crisp when you got that, that, that lead saxophone. It's not, it really, really good. All right. What we want to do next is we want to go ahead and, uh, Continue on with this song, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop my uh, personal settings in, an equalizer, and see what we get. All right, let's get going. All right, we got a plan. Let's jump in. Oh, where are my settings at? All right, so we just have to go set one up. All right, we got, all right, this is my personal setting. We're going to change the name. And already you can tell you got, it's, it's gotten much better. The bass is more, the volume, the mids and treble got raised up. Sounds really, really good. We gonna go ahead and put that in. All right, now again, it just sounds really, really good. Now that I put my own little special touch to it, uh, it, it of course the bass increase, the mids increase, the treble increase. It just sound even more sharper. The as the lead saxophone rather sound much sharper when I put my own uh my own settings to it and it sound really, really good. Let me make sure, uh, yep. I just didn't make sure I didn't miss anything. All right. So what we want to do next is we'll go ahead and get the, these pair, these swapped out and we're going to get the Nora trues up in here and we're going to have them run through the sound test. So <laughs> stay strapped in. This is, this is a good one. All right, before I go ahead and jump into and switch these over, I want to do just one more song with my personal settings on on here, on the uh, Momentum 3s, and we're going to jump back into, we're going to do Run's House. Let's go. Let's see if that 808 hit. Okay. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That bass hits and it moves from left to right. Oh, this is so good. 
Vocals are clean. And bass, oh. All right, I, I had to try that one more time. I did it with the instrumental. I had to hear it with some hip hop. Woo. Well, these personal settings, these things sound amazing. All right, we, let me go ahead and get these swapped out. Nortrue is next up the bat. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the Nortrue Pros already in the air. They're paired up. Let's go ahead and pull their app. All right, there we go. We're connecting now. All right, as you can see, it's set to personalize. Let's go up here and make sure that the EQ is turned off. EQ is turned off. Let's go ahead and go into neutral mode. And we got noise canceling turned on. All right, so let's go ahead. First song is Lenny Kravitz. Let's go. Make sure we at the same volume level. All right. All right, naturally, you got good bass. The mids and hot mids and troubles is push up a little bit, but it sounds really good. Vocals is just as clean. Just maybe a little bit louder. I don't know. I have to. Okay. Sounds really good. Just really good. And again, that's soundstage is wide open. It just sounds really, yep, yeah, great sound. All right, is you got that full, whole, whole the full soundstage, you know, again, just like the Momentum 3s, if it's on the left, the instrument, the main, if the instrument, if the instrument, <laughs> if the instrument's on the left, you hear it in your left ear, but exclusively. And same thing for the right earbud, but and everything's all together. It just seems like you're right inside of a music, like a, a, a music hall or a, a concert hall and everything's right in front of you. Uh, it's just a really good sound stage. Sounds fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in. We're going to go into uh, Tupac. All right. And again, another bumper. Okay. The bass thumps on here. This is really good sound. Vocals are clean. Clear. Doesn't sound muffled at all. Just a great sound. Just a really good sound. Man, I could rock to that. Uh, of course, Tupac's my man, RIP to Tupac. Uh, but it's just a really good sound. Um, the, bolt, the bass thump, you got that punch. Uh, even the sub bass was, it was aggressive. The vocals were clean and clear. Uh, just a great overall sound there. All right, so let's go ahead and move up. We're going to move on to... Uh, Kenny G. All right, again, you got that nice warm sound, and it sounds really good. Let me make sure we, yep, we got the same one. All right, and it seems like it comes off a little, a little bit louder than the Momentum Threes, but just as warm, and the lead saxophone is just as crisp. Great sound stage, wide open. It sounds really good. All right, so what we're going to do now, we got really good sound coming out neutral. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and jump into the, the uh, Pro EQ. We're going to turn that on and see how we go. Okay, now that increased the overall sound, uh, overall volume rather, got a little louder, but nothing else, you know, everything else got enhanced. Matter of fact, let me turn this down a notch because <laughs> it got that loud. I'm gonna turn it down just one notch, I turned it down just one notch. 
but he did get that really good enhanced sound. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn that off and we're going to jump into the personal settings now, personalized settings. Oh, that's a totally different world. Totally different world. Just sound it. It's it's a total. I mean, I can't even. The only thing I can say is it's a totally different world. It's completely different. You you got more of a concert feel now. And I don't even have spatial audio turned on. It's just a great sound. Man, I, that personalized setting is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to jump into Run's house. And then first off, before we start, let me go ahead and put back in neutral. We're going to jump into the, the Pro EQ first. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start here. Okay. Nice. Whew. And that bass is hitting. I'm almost scared to switch to personalized. Oh my goodness. That that and it moves from left to right. I love that. I love it. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead. I'm. I'm sorry. I went blank. I just started enjoying the song. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Turn this off. And we're gonna go into personalized mode. Ooh. Completely different, man. It sounds so much better. Everything's moved up. Everything's enhanced. It's just the bass hits, and it just. It's more aggressive. Sounds great. Oof. Man. Oh my God. Let me hear that bass hit. Ooh. Oh man, this is good. These are so good. All right. Oh, that personalized setting on these Nora Trues. All right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts between each two. This was a great head-to-head. -head. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in with my final thoughts on the head-to-head -head between the Nora True Pros and the Sennheiser Momentum Threes, and I have to say this is one of my near. These guys are so close to each other. Uh, when you talk about adding the EQ settings, these guys are they're they're pretty much right where at their rate right level with each other. Uh, both of them have great uh, audio, great uh, vocals. They're clean, they're clear. Uh, as far as instrumental, the uh, in the Kenny G song, the lead saxophone was crisp, loud. Um, you got good volume out of both of them. Um, and then this is not when doing the neutral mode. And then when you add the EQs to them, it just got a little bit better. Uh, they they increased a, a little bit more, gave you even more, uh, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they gave you more out of the sound. It's just the newer truths got just a little louder than the uh, Momentum 3s uh, as far as overall volume when you added the EQ. Um, still both of them had a great crisp sound and everything. Um, everything was just, it was just enhanced, uh, on top of what, uh, they was giving you naturally. Um, and then the, e, the, uh, Nortrues have that personalized setting. It makes all the difference. I mean, it's like a, you go from, uh, listening to something like your, um, here's, it's like if you're listening to it in your car, you got like a, a the top of the line uh, deck in your car, 
and you're listening to these guys, you're streaming it right off, like, say, for instance, uh, through your phone, you're streaming it right into your high-end um, sound system in your car, you got great speakers, you got nice subwoofer, everything sounding real good. You got that, and then when you pull the personalized setting, it's like you went from in your car to in a concert hall, and it's it's right in front of you. Uh, all the it's just it's that type of comparison, and then it's ridiculous um, how good it is. And I have to admit, man, I I don't think there's anything out there that's going to touch that personalized setting. I really don't, uh, at least not yet uh, in this in uh in this space all right as far like so my thing with my rating on these if you're just using the eq settings these guys are a tie i have to say it um yes the uh nortrues do get a little loud as far as overall sound uh, overall volume increases but the sound is just the same it's just when you add that personalized setting, you're in a totally different. You're 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 up here. You're you're up here, as opposed to being here where everybody else is. <laughs> when you add that personal say now, your regular EQ, you're right here, you're head to head, but then you put that personalized setting, you're bumping. You're up here, and I have to give it to the newer trues on this one. It got great sound. And then that personalized setting is just out of this world. Um, I, you know, like I said, this this may be my new number one. Uh, they may be my new number one earbuds out uh, to the, as of today. But we still have some ways to go with that. Uh, we got actually, we'll see. All right, again, this has been the Gauntlet Series continuing on uh, for the Newer True Pros. Uh, again, don't sleep on the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. These are still really good earbuds. These are one of my top three uh, of my entire uh, collection, of my entire collection of all the guys that are in my rotation. These is like one of my top three earbuds, so do not sleep on these. It's just the new kids in town, they came to play. All right, again, thanks for coming out and checking out your boy. Uh, you can... Follow me on Instagram at Ron on Tech, as well as Twitter at Ron on Tech. If you want to uh, be up to date on when I'm releasing, when I'm doing unboxings, uh, assault firmware update, walkthroughs, uh, head to heads, things of that nature. Uh, I usually do usually leave some uh, leave notification out there for you guys to tune in. That way, you guys will know ahead of time that that video is dropping. And of course, if you want to. Uh, Continue, join me on this journey that I'm going through with all these great earbuds and things I, I really want to do coming moving forward. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when these videos drop. Again, another great head to head in my opinion. If that personalized setting puts the newer true pros over the top, they're moving up the ranks. There's one more left. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.